yeah this didn't exactly turn out how I wanted it to so I don't want to add any more Bondo uh, I went in and I tried to smooth it all out and it just wasn't working um, if you can see here the sides aren't even and I feel like if I add any more Bondo it's just gonna get too blocky so like even if you see back here like I really just don't want to add any more Bondo because I feel like it'd get too big on the back, too out of shape looking. So, this is going to have to go up on the uh, shelf of helmets that almost work. But, I have a backup plan. So, this helmet is not exactly what I thought 10 inches in width and. Uh, 10 inches in height so what I'm planning on doing is getting a 10 inch styrofoam ball from Hobby Lobby so that'll be done sometime this weekend and then use foam core to make a more accurate uh, hook part uh, attachment I suppose you could say uh, then use foam core to make a uh, face part because the ball's only going to be covering you know that much so yep womp, womp, womp. I failed but hey I have a backup so that's good at least I haven't failed completely and you guys will get to see me do a complete helmet and not just bondoing on something that had already been bondoed over. Uh, let's talk about the bright side though. So I got the uh, tubing that will go on the side so I can show you guys how I plan to make that. I'm pretty sure I can salvage the neck ring. Uh, we'll see once I start actually building the helmet but I'm pretty sure that I can salvage all if not most of this. Obviously, the uh, forms that I made earlier, the uh, microphone, earpiece, the oxygen intake, and the CO2 exhaler are all still good to go. So, it's a bit unfortunate that I had to uh, scrap plan one, but I have a backup plan, and it will hopefully work much better. Alright, thank you for watching, and I'll pick back up later.